guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting and going to episode 10 of Wonderful Figure. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. I know. Oh. Well, yeah, because we know it's good. It's gonna be that one item that they just promoted, like a couple, like a day or two ago. Yuki. Okay. Huh? My you. My you. Ready.
right? So if you could just pick one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they all are cute. I really like the one with the swan. That's really pretty. Oh, Yuki! <laughs> Good, your dad stopped you. Babe, the oh, yeah! Oh. Yeah. My name. Okay, hold on. Why are all the dads in this season hot as I don't know what? I mean, you know, like seriously, all the dads, all the dads, like. When you think the kitty <laughs> distribution center has picked me, oh my god! Oh my god, the baby Mayu, stop! Yeah. But we know she's gonna take a liking to you, babe. Aww. Oh, there you are. Meow, meow. Oh, oh. <gasps> yeah, the cat. 
fifty percent set of hearts to pick to me. <laughs> no. Oh. Oh, baby. Here we go. Now the cat distribution center has actually chosen her. You can have it. I love her so much, my God. Oh my God, take me with you. I want to be with you. No, don't leave her alone. Surely isn't. Mm -hmm. Cause you are her mama. Here we go. Oh. 
Oh, there's the egg. It's freaking cold in here. Ah, raccoon. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, thank God it wasn't a beaver, but hey, raccoon. Right? No, yeah, it's a raccoon. You know what I would like to see? I, I get it, because she's instantly got to transform into a girl first before doing the Magical Girl-esque. But you can't give me my Mermaid Melody-type-ish transformation with this, where she goes from a dog transforming into the Magical Girl. That's okay. I still love you, show. Well, yeah, that's a fresh one for you. I, I don't think he's going to listen, but okay. Paint. I mean, yeah, you're right.
look how cute it is. Oh my god. Raccoons and tanukis. I Yuki. <gasps> That's so beautiful. <laughs> Good job, Mayu. I think so too. <gasps> Bye. That suits her so much. And I guess it's going to be like her thing for next week. Because I think what? Next week is supposed to be officially her magical girl transformation. But no. Get in the backstory on Mayu and Yuki. Finally. It feels like forever, even though it's only been 10 episodes was everything I wanted and more. It's like, for both Iroha and Mayu, they have these sad backstories with their pets, and it's just, it, it's still wholesome and stuff, but it's like super, like, saddening, but it's happy because, you know, both of them rescued them at a time that they both really needed, and I love that. And it's just, once again, adopt. Please adopt. Like, I adopt Cody. I did. And you can count it as adoption and such, even though I technically got him for free. Um, and Cody, like, once again, Cody is attached to the hip with me, even though he's not in my room with me right now. He's out in the living room with my mom. Because, of course, as my mom told him one day, you know, one day when DJ gets a job and she's not at home and I'm home with you, you're going to have a relationship with me, whether you like it or not. So, once again, my mom just, no, my dog just tolerates my mom. That's why she's called the lady and I'm called mom and such. But no, this was so cute. Like, oh my God, the feels of this, y y very close to getting me cry. Like, oh my God, but no, the fact is that she gave her like the hat. It seems like a date. Now, see, this does make me wonder, because since we're not getting, you know, another cure next week officially, if this monster in the woods, are we finally going to see, like, a big bad for it, potentially? There's a lot of things that they could do for this officially next week, or it's just going to be the simple gotta gotta up until, you know, we find out who our main or semi-main mini boss villain of this you know first half of the show is because once again 10 going on in 11 episodes and we have not had our mini boss we've just had the gotta gotta of the week and such and there there's nothing to say there, there okay hold on let me reword that there there's something there's nothing wrong with that let's just say that but i'm like I'm over here, I'm like, well, when the heck are we getting... But remember, you also have to remember that this, this is also an experimental season just as much as Hinokato Sky was. Um, so I get it where, once again, because if we talk about it for the... <laughs> again, uh, the last couple of weeks, once again, even in, like, the Pretty Cure Confessional Twitter pages or Tumblr pages, maybe a little bit of Instagram pages, you have always seen one person... Um, do a confession talking about this show and specifically about the fact is they don't like the fact that we're getting just gado gados of the week and not like a feature of gado gado with the mini villain talking and doing talking smack in the background being like oh my god pretty curious I hate you da 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 I'll get you next time and it's like that and I get that but once again, they're trying to do something different. And maybe, who knows, we might see something in episode 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. But we just have to wait and see. <laughs> That's the biggest thing. So, 
Hopefully it does come soon, but hey, good things come to those who wait. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction to towards episode 10 of Wonderful Pretty Care. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel and make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad, and of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday for episode 11. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.